Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to delete the other storage on your iPhone. So I know a lot of iPhones nowadays are starting off at 64 gigabytes and some are even lower like the older models at 32 and 16. So storage is a really big issue on a lot of people's iPhones. So I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of the storage today. So if you go over to general and to your iPhone storage, you'll see that the other category on my storage is taking up a fair amount, roughly about 10 gigabytes by the looks of it. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see that there is an exact number that the uh, other takes up. On my phone, it is 10.31 gigabytes, so it is a fair amount of space. Uh, so once you are on here, you can just exit back to your normal settings menu here and scroll down till you find Safari um, or the browser that you use all the time. I personally use Safari. So I'm just gonna hit on Safari and scroll all the way down and you'll see a clear history and website data. So it's just gonna clear all the cookies and browsing data and history that's on here. So that could be a fair amount if you do use it a lot. And one thing you guys can look at as well is if you go back over to your general and storage, you can click here on review large attachments. So if you have a lot of attachments in your messages, you can go through that and delete that as well. So here's a ton here that I have. Um, so I could click on edit and then you could click on each individual one you want to delete. So I can go through all this and delete all this. There is a ton that I have on here. I just recently went on a vacation. So there's a ton I have on here from me and my friends. I'll just delete the main, um, the main ones here just to clear up some space. So we'll delete those there. And you can also go through your applications here and say if there's a big an application with a lot of storage space that you don't use often. So for me, I'll take Roblox for an example. You can click on the offload app option here, which will free up the storage space, but it'll keep the app in its uh, spot and its documents and data so you won't lose any save data or anything like that. But the physical app size, it'll actually offload it for now. And then the next time you go click on the app, it'll re-download it from the app store. So I'll just click on offload app for an example here just to show you guys because I don't use that app very often at all. So just give it a second and it will offload it. And then as you can see there that it just has the documents and data left, you can either come back here to reinstall the application or you can go back to the app store and download it or just click on it. So there's three different options there. So we can continue to scroll down here and you can go through apps that you don't personally use very often. So I'll just do Microsoft Teams and offload that one as well. And we'll go back. So then we can scroll down and see how much I have removed so far. So I've, I've almost moved out of gigabyte of space and it was only a couple minutes. Uh, so you guys can just go through on your iPhones and just look through apps that you don't use, maybe even delete some. And yeah, like I said, you'll be able to clear up a fair amount of storage space and get your phone back to running in a good position. I hope I was able to help you guys out with this video. If I was, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more iOS tutorials. Thanks for watching.